if you are not aware what is CIS security benchmarking basically that's recommendation on operating system hardening and these recommendations are result of discussion between hundreds of security professionals worldwide so you're going to get something which is already discussed tested and trusted within security professionals worldwide and these recommendations are mostly used by organizations worldwide to secure their environment that is not something like uh, which is a uh, an open market open market which you can't trust that's something you can trust and m most of the government organizations also using cis security benchmarking for this demo session we are going to use ansible cis role which is on uh, github and this role is written by major hayden as i mentioned before and, uh, and that's acknowledgement to major hayden like for this great work friends if you are going to use uh, the cis role uh, you are allowed to use that by major hidden but only thing if you are modifying it just make a note uh, that's a license thing uh, let me share screen where uh, it mentioned about license here uh, that's a github site and on licensing if I scroll down this playbook is license so this is Apache license and this is a quick summary so this license that allow you much freedom with the software including an explicit right to patent state changes mean that you have to include a notice in each file you modified so make sure uh, you follow this license terms but you are open to use uh, this particular uh, github uh, ansible role okay so let's begin technical session friends to begin with technical session first uh, i'm going to take you through cis rel 6 benchmark so if you have checked this document before I'm sure you have checked because uh, you guys are working uh, in enterprise like me so here these are the recommendations and each recommendation is uh, divided into sections like this is for OS services this is for update and patch advisory next section let's say section number five which is for logging and auditing and uh, section number seven is for user environment so let's uh, select one of the section let's select uh, install TCP repo which is 4.5 so these are security recommendations okay so perform if IPv6 is not to be used it's recommended that it is to be disabled to reduce the attack service of system so how to perform audit how to remedy it so that's a security benchmarking recommendation and how you can fix the things and uh, similar install tcp repo okay what is the level that's level one means uh, that's a bit critical and uh, here is the description rationally audit how you can check what is the tcp repo configuration then remediation how you can remedy it and verify so friends uh, all these things means all the security document is covered with the ansible role which uh, major hidden ridden so I'm just going you to show a demo how you can use that role and uh, as I mentioned in my PDF uh, section presentation basically don't run this ansible playbook on your production system without checking guideline and discussing within your security team maybe your enterprise is having some different security standards or they got some additional or they got uh, some compromise kind of thing with the CIS standards so just check with your security team and this tutorial is only for knowledge sharing purpose in case it is making any damage to your system I am not responsible that's your whole responsibility okay so let's begin friends uh, I'm just opening a party session here uh, this is my Ansible management server from where I'm going to run this playbook and this is my client and uh, let me maximize my screen a little bit and this client is on CentOS 6 let me show you okay this is on uh, CentOS 
okay to begin with the uh, first you need uh, to download ansible role okay one thing uh, this ansible server and this ansible client both are already configured i'm using root user for passwordless communication uh, between uh, ansible server and ansible client okay to download uh, the git repo basically what you have to do i'm uh, just opening the page so i can explain you this is a repo this is the ansible role this is a role and uh, these are the files and uh, other yaml files here because i have to download uh, the repo one thing i can uh, just download it but i'm going to clone it uh, so i'm going to copy to clipboard which is the link to this one here i'm going to use git because that's a github i'm going to use git clone and uh, before that uh, let me change my path to ansible configuration directory okay so now git clone and path of git repo pressing enter here so my machine is already got uh, internet connectivity so it downloaded the data okay let me do ls minus l if you see this is a new one which just got copied and this is the role let me cd to this role here in this role it got its own host file because ansible.cfg is configured in such way it reads uh, its own host file so let me add entry of my client so here i'm going to create my own groups i'm going to name it as rel underscore centos underscore six and here member of this group is 90.10.10.85 which is my reddit machine this one to which on which i'm going to con check and configure the things let me show you ip if you see this is ip okay let me save this file okay so it's very simple to run this role uh, simply use ansible playbook then playbook name then minus i host okay if i press enter it will start checking and fixing the things but before that i just want to show you if you see uh, this uh, ansible sorry if you see this cis benchmarking pdf document that is divided into section let me go to beginning if you see there are nine sections and each section go to its subsection so that's a very well written uh, ansible role it have detail of all the sections let me list the tags and they are tagged tagged mean uh, no need to run all the sections if you want to check for one particular section you can do that if you see it is starting from section uh, these are the levels basically level mean uh, these are again tags whether that's level one uh, recommendation or level two recommendation or risk and these are the section section one section one dot one and so on if you see it is ending at 9.2.7 so it mean uh, it covers whole cis security benchmarking recommendation so that's very brilliantly uh, done work okay let's say you want to check only one section how you can check that let me run ansible playbook here you can uh, use minus t or you can put minus minus tags it mean it will not run whole playbook but it will check for one particular section only so let me do one thing let me open now uh, one section and uh, we can see whether it is working properly or not let's check section 7.1 because that looks easy if you see in 7.1 it is checking set shadow password suit parameter and uh, that's level one and uh, this is the check and this is the fix okay let's run section 7.1.1 here where is 7.1.1 okay so we are going to run this particular thing pressing enter here it just finished uh, if you see i run section 7.1.1 and uh, it checked the things and it 
change the password expiration dates if you see this is a change thing it mean it automatically does the work which I have to do manually and uh, you can imagine there are 400 page recommendation and the CIS playbook is going to fix everything for you in couple of uh, minutes but only thing uh, in case uh, there are some mount point thing which you have to do manually because uh, this script is not going to unmount your slash var but it will recommend you like unmount your var mount it with these particular options okay uh, one thing I want to tell you uh, let's say you want to run uh, your playbook with a couple of different tags how you can do that so here uh, same way let's say you want to run section 7 complete section 7 so section 7 enter again uh, don't think from where I got section 7 because that was a tag so it covers whole section 7 and now it is running 7.1.1 7.1.2 7.1.3 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 and uh, if you see uh, wherever it performed the changes it is showing change so it means it fixed everything for us friends okay let's say you want to run two different sections okay so to do that uh, simply you have to uh, put sections comma separated okay so how comma separated work let's say you want to run section one or let's say section seven so seven six six sorry section seven is already what we have completed uh, let's change to section five and section six these are basically tags only so you have to comma separate them press enter so it will run and fix section 5 and section 6.